Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone is fine and doing well. Today we are going to discuss something, something special. Like today I am going to give you some tips for uh, ROC events. So don't miss this video, share this video with your friends and also subscribe my channel for more updates. The first tip which I would like to give you about ROC is don't never let your plots be much empty like you can see i have a lot of empty plots so there are three war days like tuesday thursday and sunday so during tuesday night uh, if you have stamina left after the battle you either go and clear the enemy tiles or if there are no enemy tiles, no purple tiles to clean, just go and uh, take whatever tiles you can. The higher level tiles, the more the benefit you also know. The first thing guys. Second thing, never let your stamina 100 like I have now. So whenever you just log in in the game, just try to use all your stamina. And if you will try to use all your stamina for just tiles, then it is almost 100% sure. I am 100% sure uh, you won't see like this. Uh, that will be like 71 by 71 tiles taken. So do this actively. The third thing. Uh, I will recommend you don't open more and more processing queues. One extra processing queue is enough for land spenders. For spenders, it's all depend on you. I'm not going to say anything. But for land spenders, yeah, one extra queue is enough. Just get one extra queue and do your work and nothing else, guys. So, yes, uh, even one extra queue and if you have did all to level 10, then they can give you enough amount through which you can upgrade your all collision base camp uh, to level ahead to the further level level whatever you need but yeah after the third fourth thing which i would like to tell you is after you upgrade them to level 10 all your frontline works up to level 10 focus on upgrading your collision base camp to level 20 all the collision base camps so that you can take the level 16 tiles too the fifth thing like this should be shared with you at the beginning only but yeah i have made i have told this thing a lot of times uh if you have like 46 or i think 47 a specialization point then activate one extra processing queue and move out to your right of the blue a specialization basically you will get a great benefit from here like extra 300 loyalty plus uh four times so total 1200 loyalty you can get from here guys and if i say you can take the tiles faster than how your alliance mates how your enemy is taking so it all depends on you how faster you move and how more and more a specialization point you have the sixth tip guys and uh, the sixth tip is none other than about the missions when you will go there and check it out there are a lot of mission available here like upgrade guardian fortress assault fortress so these all things this all fortress i will recommend you at least in the beginning make them till level five but yeah after the days passed i will recommend you leave them until and unless your collision base camps are maxed and you have reached level 16 tiles after that yeah again focus on this type of buildings um, then make all this uh, both of this fortress to level 10 then collect enough uh, materials enough construction materials and save them and then change the specialization to construction left and then upgrade using the skills you will get lot of a specialization points too then all these things occupy 13 and fun functioning query uh, mine warning logging weren't logging site abandoned farm and all guys 
just go and do all this task never after as the last day of even the season don't think that you can't do you can do all these tasks too and guys if i tell you uh, if you do all the task present over here you can easily increase uh, four to five levels of uh, a specialization for free even i don't think that you will have uh, much worry while doing all these activities why basically there is a small thing which i would like to share with you so when you try to do all these quests at the same time maybe at the type of war you are attacking on a structure of enemy to get points for your alliance or even for yourself so guys uh, when you will be fighting with the enemy you might be taking their ties destroying the enemy honor structures at the same time you will be getting points for your alliance and yourself and even this quest attack enemy structure honor structure sometimes attacking other things so yeah don't let this missions leave uh, the toughest mission which i will tell you here is getting more and more influence value i think you need uh, up to 4 million influence value but yeah if you have upgraded your coalition base camp then i think you can get this too you can get this too as soon as possible occupy 50 cross province yeah these all are too 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 easy guys don't think much about it guys if you focus on all these things then yeah you can move greatly ahead and at last guys let us move to my last tips about uh, healing troops if I see you healing troops, I'm going to say you like, uh, don't heal all the troops at a time. Heal just those troops which can be uh, cured within 8 hours. Like uh, there are some troops which you can cure in one day, in two day, no. Let all, uh, uh, just heal the amount of troops which you can heal within 8 hours, 8 to 12 hours. Because uh, you can get them to go in the battle too when you will get them you can go in the battle too guys this is basically a small reason that is why i am telling you just heal the troops uh, that is needed eight hour ten hour or something like that and never uh, let your production go down let it keep going continuously never stop it and yes uh, unlocking more and more uh, workshops will really waste it of time and yeah if you are not going to do the battle then leave the assault fortress as it is for now and yeah at last you have to upgrade them upgrade them the highest level you can because upgrading them will give you uh, honor points and at the same time even this missions will be completed and you will get some extra honor points too so i don't think that we have much things much more thing to say you in this video uh, in my part two of ROC guides I will be sharing more tips too so thank you guys till then bye bye